Lori Coombs' father was murdered when she was just 20 years old, a deliberate, senseless act of violence that changed her life forever. But amid the sadness, anguish, and even depression, she chose to do something most would never consider. Her story of forgiveness in tonight's Someone to Know. He, he just was such an amazing man. I was absolutely a daddy's girl, absolutely a daddy's girl. I just adored my dad. We had planned to leave the next morning and all of a sudden I just got this feeling. All that I knew was that I needed to be home. But when she got there, Lori Coombs learned her father had been killed in his Carson City home. It didn't make sense to me. Her beloved dad, Rick Albrecht, was an avid hunter, fisherman, and known for his big bear hugs. But Rick's relationship with a woman going through a divorce was motivation for her estranged husband to murder. Evil really became real to me for the first time. In 2003, Anthony Eccles went to trial. Anytime I would even see his mugshot or his picture in the newspaper even, it would just send chills up my spine. Although sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. I felt like he stole something from me, you know, and, and not just me, but my, my entire family. Tomatoes, I think, were here last year. Yeah. 15 years later, Lori's now married. There you go. Thank you. These are sweet peas. And sowing seeds into their children's lives. Two beautiful girls blooming before her eyes. And while she too has grown since losing her dad, it didn't come without anger and bitterness. So I prayed and God, I felt God tell me that I needed to forgive. So she reached out to Anthony with a letter peppered with questions. And to her surprise, he wrote back. I just looked at it and honestly, I didn't even want to touch it. I mean, this was something that he had touched. This was something that these were his thoughts on the paper. And I, I ugh, just the thought of it was just terrible, absolutely terrible. But she wanted answers. Dear Lori, well, I guess this is the letter you've been waiting a year for. I wish we could do this face to face. When you're that angry, you don't realize the damage you're going to do. Serving a sentence at the Northern Nevada Correctional Center, which not only declined our request for an on-camera interview, but also Lori's petition to meet Anthony. So they resorted to the written word and exchanged dozens of letters. But then it got extremely heated. For a while there, it got really intense. I received this one letter in particular where he was blame shifting, saying, well, this happened and this happened and this happened. It's not my fault. Infuriated, but rather than rebuking, Lori says she prayed again and again felt called to forgive. And I wrote, um, I rewrote, I revised my letter and, and I told him we may never see eye to eye, but I do want you to know that I forgive you. That's when she noticed a rapid transformation. This is the truth. I did this. Um, this was no accident. Uh, and this is something I'm very sorry for. And he now shares with everyone how Lori's forgiveness changed his life. It was like a giant um, rock was lifted off my back. He adds in another letter, their testimony is resonating behind bars. Men plotting to seek revenge are now seeking forgiveness. And she wrote back. While I would never have hoped for, wanted, wished for any of this, all that happened between you and my dad, I do see God using it for good, not just in our lives, but in the lives around us. Just because he's in prison does not mean that he has wasted his life. Two people living worlds apart, one tragic event bringing them together, on a path of pain and redemption, but ultimately on a journey of forgiveness. Lori wrote this book documenting her journey of forgiveness. It's called Letters from My Father's Murderer, and it'll be released online at Barnes & Noble and at His Word Bookstores, just to name a few, tomorrow. Covering the story, Kristen Revington, Channel 2 News.